Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we take a look at Thermal Tate's Commander Series chassis. Thermal Tate have recently launched a new line of chassis under the Commander name and today we have a C36 to take a look at. The box is business as usual with the usual wrapping and packaging. Removing this you get the C36 itself and to look at it's a very striking chassis. Not the most contemporary or clean looking case but rather a nod to the classic aggressive gaming aesthetic a lot of you may have been used to from a few years back. Combined with some modern details such as tempered glass side panels and of course RGB. On the outside we will focus first of all on the front. You get a staggered almost divided look that points down to the floor. There are lots of edgy pieces that scream I'm a gaming machine look at me. There is a huge mesh panel behind all of this and it allows for a massive amount of airflow to be drawn through into the chassis and a simple thermal tape logo at the bottom. At the rear you have a standard layout with a rear exhaust fan at the top with a space for up to a 120mm fan and radiator, an IO panel cutout, 7 extension slots to the left and 2 vertical slots for vertical mounted GPUs. Below this is a space for your PSU to slot in and that's it. Across the top of the chassis you are presented with this large mesh dust filter panel that can be removed and secured back into place via these magnetic strips along the edges. Underneath the dust filter you get a large open area that allows you space to mount two 120mm or two 140mm fans and a 240 or 280 radiator with space to spare and plenty of room for air ventilation too. Moving towards the front of the top of a C36 you get an IO panel that features a large RGB button to cycle through the light modes, two USB 3 ports, audio and mic ports, loading lights, reset button and power switch. Before we look at the business side of the C36 we will pay our attention to the rear side and you get a basic plain black panel that slides away when you undo the thumb screws to reveal a surprisingly generous amount of space and plenty of cable management points. At the base you get a full length PSU shroud for your power supply and all the cables to be managed away into. Moving up you come to a space containing two hard drive trays. These simply unscrew here and then you can secure any 2.5 inch drive or SSD using these holes here and then slot back into this space here. On the left of this you get two extra drive trays and these are noticeably larger and work in the same way. These allow you to either mount two extra three and a half inch full size drives or up to four two and a half inch drives so there is a large amount of storage mounting options out of the box. Looking between these you get the main RGB heart of a chassis in the form of this ARGB controller unit. Here you get full control of up to three ARGB fans LED strips and also have the ability to connect the relevant sync cable to allow it to synchronize with your onboard RGB software too. Now that we have checked out the rest of the C36 let's take a look at the main part of it and that is of course the internals. The side panel is a 4mm tempered glass panel that can be removed via thumb screws and simply sliding away to reveal a spacious well laid out interior that looks both simple and functional. It is a chassis that will house mini ITX, micro ATX all the way up to a full size ATX motherboard with support for up to a 180mm height CPU cooler and GPUs up to 310mm in length too. There are no rubber grommets in the C36 however you do get the angle cutouts for cable management that we are seeing more often with the thermal tape cases. These are designed to allow for more cleaner cable management than the conventional flat cutouts and grommets. There is a generous amount of space behind them too. At the rear end you get the included 120mm fan which thermal tape state is their maximum but I think you could get a 140 in there if you really wanted to. Moving down there are 7 expansion slots and also 2 additional vertical expansion slots with a visor stand for mounting your GPU vertically. Below this you get the PSU shroud that features a cutout for viewing the PSU itself and also for added ventilation too. Move to the right and you get the front panel and you see those fans in place. We will pay more attention to those very soon. You have space for up to 2 200 two 140 or 3120mm fans and up to a 360 or 280mm rad too. The rad can then fit down into this space you see here to hide away without ruining that clean look from a full length PSU shroud. Slightly to the left you get a panel that has mounting points for reservoir mount so that you can position it next to the radiator. Go down into the open space in the shroud and you will see an additional panel that can be removed by a thumb screws to give you an additional panel for fixing your pump and top into place and securing it down. A nice little addition that is certainly a welcome one. Now that we've paid more attention to the externals and internals of a C36, let's focus on those ARGB fans. Thermal Take are already well known for producing some of the best RGB fans on the market, and the C36 isn't left out here. Remove this front panel and you are greeted with these two huge 200mm fans. 
What's more is these fans are their ARGB 5V fans, and when powered up they look absolutely stunning. The large size really emphasises the light show and they pack a serious oomph too, as we can see here with this tissue paper being blown inside the chassis indicating the airflow being pulled in by the fans. Move to the front and it is even more clear to see just how much air is being pulled in as it grabs the paper and holds it into place, even with a mesh in place, so your system will be very cool indeed. Operating the lighting modes can either be done via software sync with the relevant cables to the relevant motherboards to synchronise your entire light show, or by simply pressing the RGB button on the top and cycling through. As you can see here, you get a significant host of lighting options from Wave, Flow, RGB, Radar, Breathing, Static, Single Colour or Off. And that wraps up our review of the Commander C36 by Thermaltake, a chassis that features a significant amount of storage mounting options, cable management solutions, support for the larger coolers and GPUs, plenty of liquid cooling mounting options, multi-board support and those impressive 200mm ARGB fans that come included right out of a box. What's more is that also often nowadays you see a lot of cases that feature tempered glass but not a lot of scope for airflow, and the C36 really has combated that here by offering the best of both worlds. A modern design with a glass panel and highly effective airflow with that mesh front panel. The design is certainly very striking, dominating and aggressive, which is exactly the look they are going for to produce a gaming themed chassis that is very nostalgic too. However, it is a very bold look and it won't be for everybody. Myself, I'm more of a fan of clean lines and sleek curves on cases, but nonetheless I'm very impressed with what the C36 has to offer, and for that I'm pleased to award it our Gadget Joe Gold Award of 4 stars as it really is a perfect gaming chassis. With efficient cooling and airflow combined with Thermaltake's trademark RGB capability and two 200mm fans right out of a box, it really is a no-brainer. As always, if you liked the C36, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. There are links below too so you can get your very own C36. And that's it from me for now and I'll see you in the next video.